Rio de Janeiro. They enjoy life so much more than we do in Europe. It's a big city. I really want to go back, definitely, one time. I maybe even want to go live there. The people, they're like really open. You have the nature, like the jungle and the beaches, but you also have like the real city vibe. Uh, the projects, I like the projects in Amar. That was with the street children. And I organized uh, activities and I helped with with the work that the people are doing there. Uh, it was like working with the street kids and with some kids that work uh, that lives in the favela, like the, the, the ghettos, slums, whatever you want to call it. At one project I was doing like creative lessons with children, so it was mostly crafts and stuff like that. And in another project I gave English lessons. During the activities you get the time to know the children, talk to them, if you have them one-on-one. -on -one. I think, to my opinion, that was the best part to know the children and to win their confidence. And when we arrived at the, our project, they were able to take a shower and we gave them breakfast and after we played with them. And just talk about, about the situation, why are they why are they in the streets? What's the reason? Why did I just stop being on the streets and uh, go to their parents? What's the problem about that? And if it's still a problem, you motivate them to come to the Amar house and then they stay there and get a good life and uh, have some education. Yeah, do it because you have this experience that will, you will never forget. You get to know a lot of people, you get to know, I learned a new language as well. It's a possibility to learn a lot about yourself, about what you stand for, what you believe in. Uh, about who you are and what you don't want to do in your life. You will never forget this. You really grow as a person. Well, it gave me, I really changed, you know. I look at my family different, you know. I appreciate them way more now uh, because they helped me out so much and everything. And um, I learned a lot. I learned a lot. The little things, the small things, you, you start to appreciate the small things now way more. It gives young people the chance to get to know another culture and another land and to get to know to get to know a lot about that land and that culture, but also about yourself and how you're dealing with it. And we were in a group of nine people, so you have to deal with each other as well. Every Sunday, we had a meeting together about how are the projects going, what do you think about, uh, what is going good, what's going bad, how is it in the group, if somebody has something in, in his mind or anything that's bothering him or her. And we talked about it, and that was... So you clear everything up so the group stayed united. You, you live together, you work together, you sleep together, you eat together, you do everything together and you have to do it together. My world is just bigger. You know, I've been in Rio and it's so far, far from here and you know you can have a life there. So it's like the decision for me to go to, I don't know, China tomorrow or something would be so much easier because I know I can handle myself in a foreign country. It opens your eyes, being in a different culture and helping people. I think that's a great thing to do. And uh, lear learning different languages, learning different cultures. It, it's a beautiful, it, yeah, you have to do it once, once in your lifetime.